Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Generations Deluxe Junk Heap and Deluxe Sky Shadow. Now before we go any further, let's get the obvious thing out of the way and note that these guys are repaints. Yes, Junk Heap is a repaint of the Reveal the Shield Rekgar, and Sky Shadow is a repaint of the earlier released Generations Thunderwing. Now, I'll be honest, I was never a big fan of the original Rekgar figure. It's not that it was a bad mold, it's just I found its colors a bit too neutral and boring. However, Junk Heap kind of fixes all of that and gives us more contrasting colors. Instead of a dull brown, it's a nice burgundy. Instead of a simple orange, it's a bright yellow. I just love the way everything turned out, and especially the fact that they used metallic paint on the engine covers. As for Thunderwing, I hated this figure when it came out. His mold, but more so his paint just really upset me. Just so dull and boring, and I don't care if it was close to the G1 accuracy. I didn't like it. Sky Shadow, however, fixes all of this with its super dark black, bright red, and silver paint accents. Although the yellow highlights did perplex me a little bit. But whatever, the whole jet looks so nice painted in this version. Now, because these are both repaints, there really is no point going into huge detail over articulation and transformation, but I will tell you, they are largely the same as their original counterparts, being that Junk Heap has some awesome posability, whereas Sky Shadow is basically a robot with a jet strapped to his back. Check out the original reviews if you want more details. Now, the robot mode is where Junk Heap really shines in terms of his paint. He just looks so weird and interesting. The colors are so bright and vivid, and they're just kind of placed randomly, it seems. And I really love the way it looks. The new head sculpt is awesome as well, as it seems to be more of a robotic face rather than the humanoid-looking samurai that Rekgar originally had. But then again, this is mostly up to preference, and if you like one or the other, I don't think it'll really matter. Unfortunately, I do think that on Junk Heap, he does seem to be missing a little bit of detailing on his chest, uh, but it's not really that big of a deal. Now, if you thought Sky Shadow's jet mode was painted awesome, his robot mode is done even better. But maybe that's just because I have a thing for black and red robots. Either way, this guy is beautiful on camera and in hand. His head sculpt is brand new, and I absolutely love the way it turned out. I even love the red light piping. His chest also has some remolding done, and it's just really nice to have that kind of stuff. If I have any gripes with this guy, it's that I wish his arms were given a bit more color. As it is right now, just the dull gray on its own is kind of boring. Now one of the first things I look for in repaints are just to see how different I can make a figure look from the original mold. Now Junk Heap here unfortunately doesn't really have much that he can do. Uh, it's just this little wheel that you can change its position but ultimately that's it. Apart from the original mold he kinda looks identical. I mean you can't really make them look too different. I guess Rekgar's pinwheel is unpainted and Junk Heap has yellow, but that's really it. So that's a bit of a downer for me. They look a bit too alike, and I can't really make one look more original versus the other. However, when it comes to Sky Shadow, this is one of his main strengths. Because of his wings, and because of the way you can pose them, and even his guns as well, you can end up uh, making him look a lot better or at least a little bit more uh, unique compared to the original release. Seen here, I have him with the wings spread out and guns uh, up, and uh, Thunderwing has him down. So yes, it's not that big of a change, but it's enough to almost make you believe that these are two separate molds and two entirely unique figures, when in fact they're just repaints. So it's things like this that I look for that I, I really like about... Uh, Sky Shadow here versus the Junk Heap repaint. Now, ultimately, these two are basically just reducos of other toys, so if you're a collector who just absolutely needs mold diversity, then yeah, you should skip these guys. However, if you miss the two original releases, then these two are even better than those, so you lucked out if you still haven't picked these guys up. However, I will say, being that these two were released at the tail end of the Generations line back in 2011, they were pretty hard to find then, and uh, don't be surprised if you can't find them now. Now, if you're still not sold on the idea of repaints, then just pick these guys up anyway because you're going to want them to complete your collection. And if not, I'm sure you're going to find some special use case scenario for either of them, as I have. Overall, Generation Sky Shadow and Junk Heap are two really fantastic figures. Yes, they still carry the same problems that the originals had, such as Junk Heap coming with a pinwheel for a weapon, and Sky Shadow basically being a robot with a jet strap to his back. But if you can look past those things and realize that the important thing here is that the paint is phenomenal, then I definitely think that you guys should pick these up. Anyways, this has been Type V3. Hopefully this review has been very helpful to you in some sort of way. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.